Hi, in this video we're going to quickly look at the uh, work we've been doing on improving displacement within view and the uh, increasing the level of controllability for the user. On the screen you can see uh, a render of three spheres. The spheres are all identical. The only difference between each of the spheres is the type of uh, subdivision which is being used to create the displacement. In the first sphere, we have no subdivision at all. Second sphere, we have a constant level of um, displacement. And the third sphere, we have uh, a dynamic displacement. So let's look at each of these cases as individuals. Let's look at the first sphere and let's look at the material setting. You can see it's just a, uh, a substance material. But what we're particularly interested in is this uh, new box which has appeared here, which is the control of the subdivision strategy. The sphere, as you know, is made up of polygons. Uh, each individual item within view, if it's a 3D object, is made of uh, a combination of polygons and, and uh, vertices. So if we just look at editing this object, you can see that it is... It has 780 polygons, not a great deal. That's what we've got. And in the first solution, we've opted not to increase. In other words, not subdivide and create more polygons. Creating more polygons gives better quality to the, the finished displacement. So here, you can, if we remember from the, the render, we don't have a lot of detail. It's it's there but it's very soft and it's you know very undefined shall we say we can see that there is displacement because this is a pure sphere so we can see that the spherical nature has been broken down by the the displacement but we're not getting a lot of detail let's look at the next sphere the next sphere is one where we have used the new uniform displacement strategy Basically, all this is saying is of the 782 polygons there were, there are now 32 times more in this particular uh, option. You can have 1 times, 2 times, 4 times, 8 times, 16, 32, and 64 times. Um, obviously, every mesh that we make and every bit of work that we import or create within view has its own particular set of circumstances. Um, for instance, with this being a sphere and a predictable um, curvature, no corners, no edges, etc., a uniform displacement seems to work better, as we can see again referring back to our rendered image. We seem to get better quality uh, displacement. I prefer it much more to this one. It's a little bit more defined. It's a little bit sharper. Um, that's not to say that in certain circumstances the dynamic um, solution on the third sphere, so we're looking at the dynamic solution down here. In other words, view has, is deciding for itself where it needs more polygons and where it needs less polygons. So if you have a big flat area, fewer polygons. If you have an area with a lot of detail, you're going to need a lot of polygons. In an ideal world, there would be exact situations where you would use each one of these particular solutions. Um, there are no rules. We seem to get better results from the constant um, subdivision strategy over items where there is large, predictable flat areas. So a flat two-dimensional plane, we get a great uh, result. As we can see in the images that I've produced just as a demonstration of uh, displacement, you can see on this particular two-dimensional uh, view primitive plane that the displacement we, we're achieving um, works quite nicely with a constant level of subdivision, i.e. it is a predictable level of subdivision. And we're getting some really nice details coming through of both fabrics and hard surfaces. It is worth uh, bearing in mind that if you're going to put a displaced material onto a terrain, 
it's a good idea to avoid the um, constant subdivision level as you may already have tens of thousands of um, polygons if not hundreds of thousands in your terrain and to put a, a subdivision level of 32 or, or 64 will potentially um, cause you long waiting times whilst view does the calculations etc so for terrains uh, dynamic or no di displacement uh, probably the better two options I hope you found this useful and interesting. It's uh, another great addition to the to the view tools. Uh, makes life a lot easier. Um, please drop us a line via social media, email, etc. If you've got any suggestions or questions or queries. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.